What is going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kawei, joined by Vivian Day. Hey, hey. Oh, both of us here to hey, play hey. Oh, and watch The I Little Mermaid. It. I'm so excited. So, uh, I have watched the original cartoon more times than I Endlessly. can count. Yeah, like, I've, a lot of times. And so, I was very reluctant to watch the live action one, but I decided, you know what, I should give it a shot and just see how it goes. Maybe it is going to be a better experience than I anticipated. Now, my reluctance was informed by my experiences with the other Disney live exactly. action films, right? And so I'm like, all right. But I, I've heard decent things about I've this. I've heard good things. So Maybe if we just give it its own bubble and yeah. totally forget what we know, it might be okay. I will try. I'm very bad at that. I will try. I want to go into this and give it its, you know, its best, most favorable opportunity. You guys, if you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing a cut down version of our reaction as we can only show a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you'd like to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Disney Plus subscription or just a copy of the film so you can open it up. In an adjacent window to our reaction, we give you a three to one countdown sync and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite cine pals from the internet. If you're watching on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe. <laughs> you were right there. Oh my God, I'm just going to leave right, right now. <laughs> just call it a day. Just press play. And subscribe, bell icon, all notifications. Well, that's okay, here we Still go. Still very impressive. <laughs> there you go. Honestly, oh, oh, just cut it short. That was amazing. Hello? That was amazing. I was expecting like what? more credits and it just interrupted his Damn. track. This is how terrible humans are. Back to work. See there, see what? Hawking. Crosswind Gus kicked up the top. That's all. That's I don't know how I feel about him being Eric. himself if he could. Well, they gave him an English accent, so that means he's better. Obviously. We're going home tonight. Eric, pay attention. I need you to be more yeah, careful. Yeah, Eric, pay attention. Eric. Jeez. Oh, no. Is it, does Ariel catch it and it goes with her thingamablobs? Thingamablobs. <laughs> Didgeridoos. Oh, Daddy has arrived. All of your waters. Tamika, Berlin. That's his kids. Where's Ariel? Always oh, tardy. Messing around. <gasps> you were supposed to see to it that Ariel was here. I reminded her about the gathering just this morning. What more can one crustacean do? Hmm. It's cute. Find her. Yes, your majesty, right away. Yes, your majesty, right away, your majesty. How hard can it be to find a mermaid after all? If I'm lucky, I only have to search one ocean. <laughs> we aren't supposed to be this far from the palace, Ariel. Let's go back. Oh, flounder. Stop being such a guppy. I'm not a guppy. Didn't I call it? I said she was going to get the thing to put it with a thing of my vlogs. You did. <laughs> thing of my vlogs. Wait. What is that? I've never seen that one. So pretty. I love the detail. Oh, look at all that. And you, you can stay out here and watch the sharks. All right, good. <laughs> what? Ariel, wait! Not a fan of the true to life form of Sebastian and Flounder. Yeah, uh, they were so cute. Yeah, the voices are not bad though. <laughs> <laughs> you relaxed? It's just a reflection. Why well, would you be afraid down. of your own kind? Nothing is going to happen. Oh my uh, lord. Well, <laughs> there's that, that. shark is aggressive. Yeah, all of a sudden. Damn. Fish all friends. That shark is clearly on the Atkins diet. It's like, <laughs> I need some meat today. <laughs> it's leg day. Oh no. Oh. What? You gonna trick it? She's gonna trick it. <laughs> Smart. Stupid shark. Ah! <laughs> Come back, Flounder. It's just Scuttle. Scuttle. Aquafina. Your father still won't let you go to the surface, huh? No, it's forbidden. He thinks all humans are barbarians. Oh, they're not so bad. Yeah, Vivian. Yet to be proven wrong. <laughs> I suppose you've completely forgotten tonight's the Carl Moon. Oh, no. 
The gathering of King Triton's daughters. Minus one. It's an interesting shape for him. Nemo? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Story. eels. The eels. Unagi. Suddenly I want sushi. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so weird. Just broiled and sauce. Gathering. Oh, nice. oh, that was pulled straight from the cartoon. Perhaps mm -hmm. I'll join them. <gasps> She's bioluminescent. Red's fascination with humans might be just the opening I've been waiting for. That's why she got hired. I like the setup for Ursula. You don't have to worry about me. Well, I do worry, my little one. I do worry. You would just try to understand. Well, I have tried. I have tried to understand you long enough. But as long as you live in my ocean, you'll obey my rules. He's way kinder than the animated one. Ooh. Wow. It's quite the collection. No, it's just like, as a fan of the animation, this is like... On point. Yeah. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Isn't it neat? But you can't. No big deal. I want more. This is um, like almost more emotional, this version. Yeah. More human, dare we say. <laughs> The moon. You know, on second glance, uh, he doesn't look like a terrible Eric to me. Like, thinking better about in the, the dark. <laughs> <laughs> better when you can't see him that well. When the details are lost. And when it's there's more a shadow. candlelight sheen yeah, upon yeah. him. Yes, yes, I suppose. He's got a radio face, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he does have that one dimple. We have to stay open to what's out here. That's the only way our island can grow. Eric, think what you risk. Even now, I, I feel there's something out here calling to me. Like a mermaid? <laughs> Is it a mermaid? I'm coming in fast. Does that sound like a siren? <laughs> Stop listening. Cover your ears. Oh, Eric didn't have an English accent in the animation, right? He just sounded American. No. Yeah, but I think everyone else did. Oh, they did? I think so. Well, this whole thing wouldn't be believable right. if he had an American accent. Come on now. So it's a good thing they changed that. <laughs> Otherwise, my suspension of disbelief would be out the window. Just, uh, gone. <laughs> Drowned. What are you going to do? <laughs> Bye. Oh. Oof. Oh, good job, Without Captain. that. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they never revealed that one. Quickly, get off! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! Does she know what a dog is? <laughs> I want a man like that someday. A guy who goes back for the dog. Ah! <laughs> He gonna get the bends. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up everywhere. That looks good. That does look good. How do lungs work? That's what I do whenever someone won't wake up. I like just start singing beautifully. <laughs> I don't know if you're alive, but let me sing to you. You know what I appreciate about his unconsciousness is that his mouth is a gape. Because all too uh, often you see in movies where people are like, right. there's a vanity. I'm like, I don't want to look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Tongue hanging out. Yeah. They, they took out the part where... Um, What's his name? Uh, Scuttle? Mm-hmm. Checks Eric's pulse by... Oh, with that? Yeah, putting yeah, his... Yeah, that's right. His foot. 
be hard to CGI, I guess. <laughs> that's a good point, actually. <laughs> it's like I mean, that's, it's a lot cheaper to not have that. Uh -huh. He's alive! Stepping alive, on Sebastian please. was funnier. I guess they weren't that far from the castle. <laughs> I wonder what those outfits are based on, because it looks like, for me, it looks like something out of Dishonored, which mm. is like a steampunk game. Mm. But I'm wondering if it's based on some kind of old English style. Would it be Dutch? Or, yeah, that, well, that makes more sense. I just have to be firm with her. Get her to see that this is all just a passing fad, and in time, she'll forget all about him. <laughs> I always wonder how she drives oh, yeah. that, like, <laughs> in both movies. I'm like, how... How did you do that? It's underwater. Just borrowed some dolphins. You have to let go of this obsession with humans. I'm not obsessed. I may be crusty, but I'm not blind. I saw you the night of the shipwreck. <laughs> Sebastian, if you had just seen it up there, the ship rode on the wind, and they filled the sky with fire. Okay, okay listen to me. I like this version. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Feels timeless. I, I, I mean, the original is always going to be of course. more fun for me. You know, I grew up with it, but yeah. this is this is also fun. She was real. She saved my life. Sit down, Eric. I'm not hungry, I'm mother. worried about you. Have you checked the neighboring islands? Not all of them. Then I will. No, you will not. You're not leaving this castle until you're feeling better. I'll feel better when I find her. Why did he have that on to begin with? What the hell was that about? <laughs> He had like a tiny cut right here. But your responsibilities are here now. So, no more voyages and no more chasing after girls who don't exist. <laughs> her, Some bare minimum, uh, Eric. Her, her performance is interesting because it's not like Judy Dench loud. You know what I mean? Like I and I love Judy Dench, but she's not going for this like high octave Shakespearean mm -hmm. performance. It's more almost. Uh, understated in a way yeah and i like it but still strong it's still strong yeah you still have to listen it's it's strong without like screaming yeah i cannot you the song's not doing it for me no but i do appreciate the line i can't get over you <laughs> i know you've been keeping something from me keeping something mm-hmm about ariel ariel <laughs> He's my little one in love. Oh, I tried to stop her, sir. I tried to stop her from going to the service. I told her to stay away from humans. But... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they did the Hitchcock shot. You broke the rules. Oh, shit. I remember Daddy's this scene. angry. This is where he goes in ape shit. Mm -hmm. A man was drowning. I had to save him. They killed your mother. One man did. Why blame every human? Eric had nothing to do with it. Eric, have you lost your senses completely? You named him? <laughs> oh, well, I will get through to you. No, please. Oh. Stop it. It's for your own good. <laughs> I love that Sebastian was like, oh, he's crap. like, oh, okay, 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 okay. He's obviously looking at this <laughs> statue. The walls. He thinks he knows everything. Who are you? I'm your Auntie Ursula. The sea witch? The what? <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> funny. <laughs> I don't need your help. Whatever you say, Dad. Uh, I think the idea is that Triton is a uh, more of avoidant. Oh. And she is more of a provoker. Mm -hmm. Ariel, where is she going with those slippery good for nothings? Let's go. Yeah, I think this is a, a big miss to make them look more like actual sea creatures. Yeah. Those things look legitimately scary. I mean, they were scary in the cartoon, and they're scary here. They're doing real well. Oh, wow. That's a little different. Oh, that's sick. Come in, child. We mustn't lurk in passageways. Forgive my aggressive garden. I wouldn't choose to live like this. They were trying to protect her, the garden. Yeah. At least that's my guess. Because they're all the trapped souls that she tricked. What you really want is to be up there in the above world. 
It's always helped your curiosity. Now, it's got your heart. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Octopus are just such strange creatures, man. They're amazing. It's happened once or twice. I'm liking this Someone so far. couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the cut. That is creepy. I'm not trusting this hoe. <laughs> like... I'm out. She's being very forthright. She's like, look, I'm not hiding it. Oh, they did the boob yeah. thing. That was surprising. I thought they were going to take the that shimmy? out. No. The sewage. Yeah, that was in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Before the sun sets on the third day, you and Princey must share a kiss. Princey. And not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. Cute. Very nice. If you do, you will remain human. But if you don't, you'll turn back into a mermaid. And you belong to me. You won't be able to breathe underwater. Who needs it? <laughs> <laughs> She's so good. We got a deal? She is awesome. No. The range. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I like it. Go back home to daddy and never leave again. Come on, you Wow. Oh, this is dope. The way they're handling this scene. Oh. That wasn't in the original. Sick. Yo, she's killing it. So good. Oh, I love that she's crying. Quick! All right. <laughs> Don't get the bends. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little feet. Okay, hair would be so heavy. Epic. Splash. <laughs> Wee. That was. Oh, you don't know that movie? So good. Splash. 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 Yeah. Tom. Tom Hanks. Uh. uh New. No? We almost did. Whoa. Oh, that's a rude awakening. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, it's One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy! You alright? A poor girl. Must be a shock. I'll go find something to cover you up. No reason why this Danny Glover lookalike can't be, you know, Prince Eric. He found yeah. her. Cozy. Quarter of the audience just got real happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here we go again. I'll take you to the castle. They'll know what to do with you there. Come on. In you go. That's cool. That's a good dude. Yeah. That just saved her. Yeah. Just so happened. <laughs> she can't speak at all. Can you blame her, Rosa? After all she's been through? I love the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fun to be human? Told you to Brexit in one week. Prince Eric's still looking for that girl who saved him. Said he won't rest until he finds her. Stay right there. I'll get the prince. It's a pretty dress. What's your name? She doesn't speak, sire. Well, then you're welcome to stay here. Make sure she has anything she needs. Yes, your highness. They're very kind to strangers in need. It's island life. I'll try to help you. But we've got to be bold. Act quickly. Don't forget about the kiss. I, no, no, not me. The prince. You got to kiss the prince. Don't you remember? Oh, so she can't even be reminded of it. You can't remember, can you? We got no time to lose. We just got to find a way to get the two of you together. I can't remember. That's well, interesting. Yeah, that was part of the spell. That's I what I missed that part. Oh, Ursula at the very end was like, "Ooh, I slipped in a little something." Um, because it's not complicated enough. Yeah, <laughs> just need another hurdle uh -huh. there. The witch has placed a spell on her. Soon as I tell her she's got to kiss him, the thought jumps clear right out of her head. So now it's up to us to kiss the prince. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. What do you mean? She's right here. Mm -hmm. Y'all are oh. on it. 
Beauty and the Beast vibes. It's just interesting. She only took her shoes off and not the nails. She's like, these are killing me. You know, if they wanted to be realistic, she should have been naked. I'm just saying. I'm kidding. <laughs> are you? <laughs> That is a nice library. What if there was like a statue of her? <laughs> it's like I just made this. No, it was He's like, like the standing one standing right next to it. Like, like, hello. like the one she had of him. Remember? Uh-huh. It's like, what are you doing in here, child? You can't just go wandering around wherever you please. Hide. Who's in here? He's always walking with purpose. Yeah, he's a prince. Oh, it's you. Nobody usually comes in here. My Little Mermaid. He said the name of the movie. Oh my goodness. Mic drop. Collecting all this stuff, but... It's like with soulmates. Yeah, right? Can you believe that such amazing things exist down there? No, wait! I love this. This is a nice addition to the movie. Yeah, uh, to, it's yeah, to the so story. nice. This is cool. Makes it meaningful, not just like, oh, you're beautiful. It's oh. incredible. <laughs> no, I want that wow. part too, yes, Egan. but. I thought I just picked up from the beach. I, I was thinking about the, the fact that he's basically just like her with his collection. Because yeah. I don't remember this in the cartoon. It wasn't. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> How do I? Yeah, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Go on, come now. Oh. <laughs> 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 As a half white guy, I'm offended. Some of us have rhythm, okay? This Dates. is great representation. <laughs> I mean, come on. How can you not know how to blow into that thing? Over here's our main village. Now, port there was once the busiest in the region. What if she was a spy? Just giving away all the secrets. Oh, Grimsby, good. We'll need a horse and carriage ready for us in the morning. Uh, may I have a quiet word, sir? Of course. Where's Max? He's a special one, isn't he? And that moonlight, ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. To look for the girl? The girl. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Of course, yes. We must do that. Absolutely. And I must remind you, Eric, what your mother said yesterday about you not leaving the castle until you're feeling Grimsby. better. I feel fine. His scar is literally gone. He doesn't look fine to me. He looks Does he look fine. gorgeous? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Step of fine. <laughs> Fabulous. Goodness me. So fine. <laughs> Eric, you are charming after all. <laughs> Poor Sebastian. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't beast. You asked. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. I still got it. That kind of freaked me out. His eyes moving like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It- <laughs> Wild. <laughs> He's like riding a dolphin. Oh, no. Come on, dude, you're used to riding the seas. This should be normal for you. Oh. Off roading. No, not the goats. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Give you a hand. He's so of the people. Hey, remember that scene from the cartoon where Ariel rides the carriage quickly? We're gonna make it five times longer. Because the coconut. Oh, that's right. She's like, why do they hate the coconuts? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh. Yes. Boy, got moves. You never played Super Mario Sunshine, right? Mm Mm-mm. You'll see the eyes of a screech owl up in the tree. Hey! Hey! Hey, come! Ooh, here it comes. Oh, all right. You think Friends Eric would have really chased 
That bird down for his hat. Well, that worked pretty good, didn't it? But nothing's happening. Ah, we're running out of time and no one's puckered up once. I think it's time for a little vocal romantic <laughs> stimulation. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> How inappropriate. We got to be sneaky about this. We got to work on the prince. His specialty. Using the power of suggestion. These boys are dumb. Words. There, you see her sitting there across the way. Oh, we see. She wants you to use oh. your words for Yes, girl. If the time is right, then the time is tonight. Oh, I'm a kissy girl. Okay. Like the boy too shy, ain't gonna kiss the girl. I like this version. Oh my god, that's scary. He's got a miss the girl. That's cute. That's amazing. That's Cassiopeia. Still don't know your name. Let's see. Is it air? Mm, right? Eel. <laughs> <laughs> Points to pants. Airy. She's helping Airy. him. Airy. Oh. Airy. That would not have worked on me. No. We'd be stuck there <laughs> playing like a this, Mad Libs game just for like. Kind of hurts. <laughs> You won't say a word until you kiss the girl. Kiss the girl. Kiss the girl. But ask for consent. Damn, you just screwed that up, Ariel. You could have had your voice back. Kiss the girl. Go with the fever dream. Cut to Ursula. That was close. That was a hundred and one Dalmatian moment. Where is it? <laughs> Just grabbing things willy nilly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was cute. I'll see him wriggle like a worm on a hook. She did such a fantastic job of like finding that same essence and voice mm -hmm. and making it her own. Mm -hmm. Humanizing it. Good night. Ariel. I like that he's the more smitten one. I yeah. wish that there were more um, lingering close ups of Ariel. Mm -hmm. Like that shot they had of him at the end where he's all smitten. We need more of those shots from her because I'm almost feeling slightly disconnected from her. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it's a choice. Is it all because of the spell or? She's doing good stuff and it keeps like editing around and cutting away from her. Uh-oh, here comes Vanessa. In a way, it almost feel, feels like it's becoming more of Eric's story than Ariel's than story. Hers. I'm torn because I am loving how much of an experience she's having. Um, oh no. I like that it's not just powered by her need to be with him. It's like, no, her whole thing was she wanted to be in the human world. Just casual. It's a real siren. She does look different. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Represent. Yeah, yeah. Screw the chick without the voice. Yeah. Let's back that hoe. She's like, was she black or Asian? <laughs> oh, man. I must have been more out of it than I thought. When they're not white, I can't tell. <laughs> they all look the same I'm just to on me. an island, okay? Mm. It seems you really have found a girl of your dreams after all. We will celebrate this evening. You shall introduce your intended to the court. We can make that happen, can't we, Grimsby? Mm. Yes, yeah, Grimsby. What I want. It's it's what we both want. You love me. Well, we've got our work. I was confused. Uh, yeah, whatever she is, she's fine. I used to want to look like her so bad. I want that necklace.
Oh, I got chills. So long, Red. <laughs> Every time we see a mirror now, uh, we're going to be like, la da dee <laughs> Who's that actress? I don't know. Oh, okay. I actually don't know. I saw, it wasn't you, it was her. What are you talking about? Don't you get what I'm telling you? <laughs> no! The prince has been tricked. That lady who showed up is actually the sea witch in disguise. <laughs> What are we gonna do? Well, we have to do something Turn before Prince Eric ends up with that slimy squid. I like Aquafina. I think Aquafina is doing a great job. She is. This belonged to my mother. Your happiness means everything to me. Why would you excuse me? God, the lips what are broad. Are she is beautiful. Goodness. What are you? Oh, oh Eric, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes. The ring. The ring. I lost. Her. Anybody see the oh. It'd be great if this just oh, turned God. into an Alfred Hitchcock film. Just a couple <laughs> <And> of birds. Darling! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh Get away from me! <laughs> she would be way stronger than Ursula. Get yes. They're all hallucinating. I think she ate that firefly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat bugs here, Ariel. Ariel. Kiss him. Yes. It was you all along. Kiss, quick! <laughs> the sun is going down, ho! Uh, quick! Stop <laughs> talking! Away from her! No, I... Oh, just, 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 just do it! Just do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! No! Oh, that sounded painful. Grody. Do it now! <laughs> oh, she's good. Yeah, she's dope. Now, octopi. Oh, what? Can fit their small holes. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Ah, she jumped over. No, this is the work of the sea gods. I warned you, the whole world is evil. Eric, wait! Damn, it's just like Triton. Mm-hmm. I like that. What are you doing? Let go of me! Not a chance! You made a deal, remember? Three days, no kiss? Oh, now you gotta live with it, toots. Won't be needing that anymore. <laughs> that was fast. Let her go. Yes. Hey, get her, boys. I wouldn't. Shocking, isn't it? Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> I miss that. What do you say to a train? Hmm? But your precious little Ariel worth to you. Oh. Bring with him a fishing rod? Spear fishing. Oopsies, poopsies. It's about to go down. Get the sword, she'll kill you. I'm not leaving you. Oh, they kept that. Nice. Whoa. Yes! Give me your hand! 
Why are y'all reaching in front of the... Reach behind. Yeah. <laughs> She angry. So much oh. No, screw that. Freak him out. Traumatize him. That's pretty Time scary. Out. Imagine that, like, on a huge screen. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh. Did they borrow this footage from pirates? <laughs> Just reuse it. Are they changing this up? No, this was how it was. No, 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 no. Ariel was caught at the bottom of that thing on the sea oh. floor before. Are they going to work together then? Switching up Look, the narrative. the future's female bitches. That's right. <laughs> Don't you forget it. It's like, I know how these work now. I've watched this once. I know how to steer a ship. <laughs> Just doop doop Ow. That was done pretty well. Sorry, Eric. Bye. Did we see Eric? Is he okay? Oh no. What is this? What's happening? Daddy? Well, that worked out. How? I thought it added another level of emotion seeing all of them sad yeah, faces on them. You gave your life for me. And you fought to get my life back. Aww. Oh, all right, Michael Phelps. All right. Sire, please. We need a boat. Grimsby, we have to find her. And then what? Our worlds were never meant to be together. But I won't be able to protect her anymore. Well, it's like I always say. Children got to be free to lead their own lives. Oh, is that what you always say? Something like that, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Cute. Cute. Then there's just one problem left. And what's that, your majesty? How much I'm going to miss my little one. We just cut out that whole magical moment. Come on. Too much CGI. Oh, cute. Very interesting. Well, they do like exploring and collecting things, so. That's true. How else would they do that? Tried it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Where are the sisters? They're still looking for Ariel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> forgot to tell. Thank you for hearing me. You shouldn't have had to give up your voice to be heard. But now I am listening. And I will always be here for you. We all will. Oh, wow. That guy's got some Hello. abs, huh? <laughs> Cool. I liked it a lot. Didn't hate it. 
Um, I <laughs> strong opinion there. <laughs> no, but you know the thing is, this movie had its work cut out for it for me yes. because I have I haven't been a huge fan of the other live action adaptations. I Mm-mm. I literally wanted to walk out of Aladdin in the first ten yep. minutes. I was that angry. Yeah, I was just like, you Agreed. guys messed this up. I don't even Eating know how you. All the only one that I actually remember enjoying like was I remember enjoying Dumbo, but I was so oh, removed from the cartoon that it didn't matter. Mm. You know. Uh, so it was kind of fresh. It wasn't the most exciting movie, but it wasn't terrible. It was just like, it was mid, it was past, you know? And then a Lion King, the first time I watched it, I was like, all right, I guess this works. I don't like that they don't have that kind of animated look, yeah. but it's cool. And then I tried to watch it again. And I was like, no, oh God, I'm leaving. I just Mulan like. Mulan was terrible yeah. to me. Oh yeah, this actually to me it worked. Yeah, for the for, I mean, its own. In, in comparison to the other Disney films before it, live action adaptations, I thought this was the best one. Halle Bailey. Okay, so um, I thought that Jessica she, Alex. she gave a lot without you know using dialogue because mm-hmm. for most of the film she's not actually talking, and I yeah. think that she actually did a great job with her expressions and whatnot. I don't think that Rob Marshall captured her as well as he could have. That mirrored with like some of the editing. I'm just like. I just need some of these shots to linger Mm -hmm. on her a little bit longer so I can connect with her. And that was the one thing that I was missing while watching this was like, I'm not really feeling this connection that I want to between Ariel and Eric. See, I wonder if that was a story choice, though. Like I said, like, I really love that they gave her such a full experience and they showed her more emotionally tied to like touching things for the first time, like experiencing people and um, the environment around her because I feel like that was more important than that love connection, which we knew would happen anyway. So Mm. I wonder if that was a choice on their part to not have so much of that. Kind of like my ethnicity. I half agree with you. (laughs) Um, uh, So, uh, yeah, I I half agree in in so far as I think it is cool for to see the world through her eyes as she's discovering what the the human experience. Right. That's all well and good. But I think that the core of the story is still Ariel and Eric. And I think that I need to feel that the whole way. And we got to see more of Eric. For sure, way having, more, and I don't know that I needed that. Uh, I like, I like I, it because he gets to build why he fell in love with her, not just a oh you're beautiful and I was. That's good enough. <laughs> Look, it doesn't take much for a dude. Yes, it does. You're Disney hot. is showing us. <laughs> See, hotness only gets you so far, as no. Vanessa shows us. But uh, I, I did enjoy the additional scene in his quarters, whatever they're called, yes, or, you know, with library. all his stuff, so that you see that he's it's basically true. like her. Exactly. You know, he collects stuff and all that, and that was a nice scene. Yeah. You know? No, they're soulmates. Relationship building. Yeah. Even though I missed like the kind of humanistic face of Sebastian, I thought Sebastian's voice worked. Flounder. Just if it was a flop. Flounder was extremely forgettable. Yeah. And I think that it was just, it, I don't know if it was the voice, but I think it was more so just. I think it was the animation. They, first off, he took a back seat in this version. And second, the animation, Completely. he very much looked like a mid journey fish. <laughs> like, you know what mid journey is? Yeah, the, the programming. Yeah, right? it's part of Discord, but like it, it generates, a, you know, AI. Mm-hmm. It's AI generating uh, images and stuff. And it's like, it, it looked weird to me. It almost looked like. You know those the, the singing fish that you buy that like kind of comes to life. Yeah, I mean those have more emotion. Than yeah, than exactly. So you spent it all on Ursula, it, it, what, Melissa it, McCarthy. It, it didn't take long for me to forget uh, that you know because the in the original Ariel is Caucasian and this one she's black. Oh yeah. It, it didn't take Did long. It didn't take long for me to to get used to that. I think I got used to it like almost immediately. She looks like a mermaid. I know this might be a faux pas, but I'm just going to be fully transparent. I don't know if I'm saying something out of line here, but I do wish her hair was different once she left the water. Just because, like, to me, Ariel's hair, it's like this, it's it's an iconic element of her. her. Mm -hmm. But maybe, like, I might be the only person who has that feeling, and if I am, I apologize. Well, I apologize more so if it offends anybody, not not for having the feeling, necessarily. I think Um, I agree, though. They could have given her more styles, even if it was, like, you know, braiding it, or, like, putting it off to the side like I love that they tried to give her an island feel with the um, little bandana thing they were doing but Mm -hmm. I actually agree because I noticed Eric's hair a lot more than her hair sure (laughs) and she's the mermaid she Uh, should she should look the part even on land yeah and uh, Melissa McCarthy just destroyed like oh she's, my God! She stole Give the show. Give her an Oscar. Yeah. No, Give her an Oscar immediately. I thought that when she took Ariel back under the ocean, she, she dropped character a little bit, mm-hmm. but but for the most part, 
I thought she just completely destroyed this role. Like she did such a good job of embodying that voice. Mm -hmm. And like she had her own way of saying the lines, which still worked. Mm -hmm. Uh, I thought, you know, she was just very true to character. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful performance by her. Uh, I feel like her character dropped. It's just the way she spoke. Her, 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 she had a particular cadence and a particular way of talking. And when she pulled uh, Ariel back into the water, when she dropped that facade, mm-hmm. her, she just completely dropped character for a second and became Melissa McCarthy for, again for like maybe a minute of the movie. And I was like, all right, that's a choice. So that's on the smallest part of my list. Of I complaints. actually thought that was great because it, to me, it was like a vulnerable moment because once she has that interaction with, um, what's his name, King Triton. Mm-hmm. It showed a lot of backstory there because she was still hurt, like seeing him and like dealing with him. And when he died, she had such a moment where it landed. She's like, oh. I thought the whole scene was rushed, but maybe it's because as a kid, stuff feels longer. Yeah. But like, I felt like that scene was longer in the cartoon. Like there was, a, it was a lot more dramatic and she had the contract and tried and tried to destroy the contract. And yeah. she's like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> and she's laughing. I just remember that being longer and I, and I missed the little representation of the other, the gremlin things, the gremlin looking, the, oh, yeah. you know, from, from the other mer people. That's the thing is in, in the cartoon, it's just the under, under the water felt more lived in with other mermaids. Mm-hmm. And here yes. they just got rid of most of that. Yeah. We you know? barely see them in their culture. Exactly. Yeah. It was just weird to me. Overall, the exp- my experience with the film is positive. Mm-hmm. I just wish that I felt more of a connection to certain things that I definitely felt a connection to in the animation. The thing that I felt most lost, that like was most disappointing for me, was like when they kiss at the end of the movie. I'm like, I don't. F- it's very chaste. Very. Well, I just didn't feel friendly. it. Yeah. You know, I didn't. I didn't feel like. So I didn't feel whatever I was supposed to. You know. Because- Again, is that a choice? Are they trying to? tell the little boys and girls like there's other things you don't have to be driven by just I physical think you're giving passion. it way too much credit like, I don't... I'm just trying yeah. because <laughs> do you think they had chemistry Ariel that's the thing Eric? is I don't know I don't that's I think like, that yeah like the they, canoe, they, they had they chemistry they had, they had chemistry the by library. themselves whenever they were alone there was definitely chemistry there when they were absent of each other <laughs> I think the library and the canoe when he's talking about the constellations that was as close as it got sure and yeah and they're very friendly. Yeah, they would make good friends, you know? Which is important in a partner. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do wonder if that was a choice. Because, like, as we know, feminism is it. And um, I wonder if they're just really trying to change that narrative of, like, look for more in a relationship, you know? Look for... I didn't get that at all. I didn't come away with... Well, at least, you know, I no, nothing. I was just like, I, in this moment here, I feel nothing. That, that's what's important. Like, it's earn like, the relationship. Yeah, like, I needed to feel something there, and I didn't. Irrespective of what era this comes out in, when two people are kissing on screen yeah, that I've been following for a 90-minute-plus journey, I should feel something. Agreed. You know what I mean? Agreed. Irrespective of feminism or, or whatever the hell the movie's, the agenda of the film is, I should still feel something in that moment, and I just didn't feel it. And so that's what, you know, I could beat a horse I to death wonder. here. I still wonder. Yeah, I still wonder. Because, like I said, like all the animation was long ago. I don't think and that the matters. Focus, I think yeah. so, because they're so... The only instance I didn't feel anything about... was like Snow White. Snow White and, and right, well. Sleeping Beauty. Like, those are the two instances that, like, you're talking about really old. I didn't feel anything there, but, like, nothing was built up, really. Whereas, like, in Little Mermaid, it was built up. In Lion King, in Aladdin, like, in those class, in Pocahontas, all those inst- right. all those films, it was built up, and I felt things. And I felt their relationship mm-hmm. and their connection to each other. And that's a cartoon. Right. And so when you're dealing with human beings, it should be more easy to access. And it just wasn't, you know? Yeah. I feel like they're they're playing it safe and trying to protect young minds here and create a different narrative. I didn't catch that. If that happened, it went over my head. I guess in recent years, there hasn't been a lot of films directed towards kids that has a romantic element right. where where you, you know you're supposed to feel that it's I, like, like overpowering it, nothing, nothing that immediately comes to mind right it's feeling like it's a choice where they don't want to push that anymore like i think that's dumb i mean the reason why any of us are here is because two people fucked Agre- so <laughs> it's just like yo Agreed. i don't know why you're trying to get rid of that message because there's but- other <laughs> other things to focus on they'll figure that out once they get past the you know disney there, there could be other things to focus G-rated. on the, the 
the only thing that drives Thanks. a man is, is the possibility of, of procreating with a woman. Maybe no. other things drive women, Men but need the only reason a man builds a rocket to go to the moon is to impress a girl on Earth. That's it. Elon's they don't, game just busted, right? Just, how much, just do you like know that. how many kids he has? <laughs> he has so many kids. <laughs> He's like, hey, he baby, three this year. I built another rocket. And she is like, okay, let's make another kid. It's like, all right, you know what that means. <laughs> it's all it's about, man. I don't know, but I like where they're going with that. With In terms of this... The, the narrative, yeah. I like that Eric was given more of an arc in terms of like falling for her and why he fell for her, not just because she was pretty and because she had a voice and he had a fever dream. And I like that she was like, cool, but I have a life too. And I have dreams too. And yeah, you're a nice part of it. And... It gets to kind of come together. Uh, you're saying words I don't recognize. I don't, I don't <laughs> recognize any of that. <laughs> no, like because I did. I, I didn't really see an arc for him. I saw that really? he had. A, I saw he had a journey, and there was definitely a journey there. Because uh, he was just like, find the girl who saved me. Oh, but wait, this girl is actually I'm connecting with her, even though she's not saying a thing. For me, an arc would have required him to want something else, and then yeah, he comes he to. What he he got what he wanted. There was no but consequence. He, he gave up that dream midway through because he met Ariel, right? Not so he actually. then had to give that away, and he's like, okay, maybe I can stay here and just kind of chill with this person. And then that's when you know, I, I don't think he was ever afforded that opportunity. I think by the time, and if he had a chance to think about that, it got cut off by Vanessa when he had the conversation with Grimsy, Grimsby. Um, and he was like, okay, the carriages couldn't find that mystery girl. Do you yeah. keep going? And then Eric was like, no. That I, I feel like that was the moment. I'd have to watch Where he's like, again. I want something else. I'd have to and watch And then that's when again. he has yeah. that line like, oh, you know, just pay attention to what's here instead of what should be. I remember that advice. Yeah. I remember I that. I, I, but I never I never really got the other end of that from, from Eric. See, you weren't looking into his eyes enough. The sh- movie it. didn't show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> he had very pretty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it did. This is so interesting. Male perspective versus... I don't think it's a male perspective. I think it's just Anthony. I mean, it's jabby. <laughs> I think it's just me. I mean, maybe I'm just a nimwit. Maybe? Or a no, dimwit, I right? mean, it's good because it's different. We all, it, it goes to show how differently we process things. And especially with a movie like this that was mm-hmm. so iconic, that moved both of us mm-hmm. as kids and as adults. We get to come at it with our life experiences right now and I think if anyone had so different. if anyone had an arc in this movie it was Ariel because she was willing to let go I feel like she was constant she was like no because the thing is that. she wanted to be on land and she disobeyed her father she took measures into her own hands went behind her dad's back and but made a deal with the, mind. she made a deal with the devil no hold on she made a deal <laughs> with the devil and she goes through all this effort and then saves her pops and her pops is like okay now you're gonna stay under the water and she's like all right fine that is an arc. She's letting go because, like, she's finally giving in to her dad. Whereas the whole movie, she wasn't. The whole movie, she was totally against what her dad was asking for. She kept all this human shit, not shit, but like trinkets and whatnot, right? That was totally opposing what her dad wanted. At the very end, she's like letting it go. She's on the surface again, which her, she, she was told not to do, but she was not making any contact, which is what her, what her father wanted. That's an arc. And so when she finally when she finally decided, you know what, fine, I'm going to listen to my dad, that's when he also had his arc and gave in to her because he realized what her true happiness was. So they had an arc. Eric was was on a path and, you know, he had his ups and downs on his path. I think I think that we're having a semantics debate here and it's Maybe. so I, mean, I don't think people are going to find it very interesting. So I'm going to let it go. You win. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Goodness, I didn't know we were fighting. <laughs> Cuz like I don't think people care about the semantics. We're just talking past each other at this point. Maybe. But overall I think that I liked it. Yeah, I enjoyed o- it. Overall I enjoyed the film. I thought it was good. Um and it, it definitely was a a better what do you call it? Live action adaptation. Than most. And the the visual effects was kind of ropey sometimes, but there were other times where it was stellar. And uh, I thought when it worked, it was really working. Yes. And it worked best when it was around Melissa McCarthy as uh, um, Ursula. And the song numbers. Like, the song numbers were fun. Was good. Yeah, that was fun. I, I still am more partial to the original songs yes. on all accounts. But I thought that Under the Sea was definitely not offensive. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. and and Kiss the Girl was definitely not offensive. Yes. I mean, they, they, they was its own version and it worked for the for the film and i liked aquafina so she was really good so you guys thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoyed that let us know what you felt in the comments below i'm jabby kawaii this is vivian day peace out